Okay, good morning. It's Sunday 10 a.m. and time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Super quick before we get into this video, I'd love for you guys to rate my team for once. Uh, this is the new team that I've built. Uh, I've just brought in this Footman Suzoko and middle Eusebio. Obviously, we had the incredible pack luck and we managed to get an untradeable Messi uh, from player picks. And then we've got uh, Mbappe, who's had an incredible record all in champs, and uh, Neymar, who's uh, doing quite well in champs as well for me. So I play a 4 triple 2 with Eusebio and Mbappe up top, Sissoko and Kante as the uh, DMs, and then Messi and Neymar as the cams. I'm just waiting for uh, my Ramos to sell so I can buy to Stegen and... Um, Alex Tellers. So please leave your opinions down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on the team. If I should improve anyone, uh, I'd love to hear your opinions. I'll have a couple hundred K to work with, I think, once my Ramos sells. Uh, and it should be a fun experience trying to trying to upgrade that team. So without further ado, let's start rating some teams now. Quickly before we get into it, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, at It's Haber on Twitter. Uh, I've been doing giveaways recently, and also I tweet out when I start recording I Rate Your Teams. Uh, so I tweeted out just over 40 minutes ago that I started recording it. I always say about 15, 20 minutes, so uh, just sort of stick around for that. Make sure you're looking out for my tweets on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So... Let's jump straight into it. Now, if you want to be featured, all you have to do is send me a HD screenshot or a couple, depending on uh, if you play a different formation in game to what you start with. Uh, tweet me it using the hashtag It's Haber. It has to have the hashtag It's Haber in the tweet and give me a description on your team. Sort of how many coins have you got to work with, who's tradable, who's untradable, etc. You know, sort of give me descriptions of your teams, basically. So the first one's going to be from uh, Hazo YT. I've got 300k to spend. I play 4, 2, 3, 1 in brackets 2 in game. Untradables are Allison, Nesta, Alexandro, uh, Nabry, Chamberlain, Gabamin, Josh King, and the bench and reserves. Hashtag it say, but you could have just told me who was tradable. I think that'd actually make life a little bit easier. Um, okay, so 300k to spend. What would I work with this team? Now you're playing the four. You're actually playing the wide 43 one. I've heard this is a really good formation to play. I haven't played it yet. I think straight away I'd upgrade Alexandro over here. I think I'd actually go for the inform Alex Tellers. Now I was using Team of the Year nominee Sandro for a while. I was enjoying him as well, but I think that. Uh, Inform Alexandro is a little bit better. Sorry, Inform Alex Tell is a little bit better than uh, Team of the Year nominee Alexandro. And they're roughly a similar price as well. So I go with Alex Tell is over at left back. Um, next thing I'd probably do is just upgrade to the Inform Fabinho. I think you've got a few plays here you can upgrade to. So uh, yeah, I go with Fabinho maybe. Um, you haven't done the uh, the Diego Carlos, so you, you, you're going to stick with the Juan Jesus, obviously. Um, now, would I upgrade anyone else here? What you could do is you could actually uh, potentially upgrade your Footmas Gabamin for Footmas Izoko. I see on your bench you've got a few high-rated plays like Toko and Kambi, uh, Ziyech, uh, Martinez... Uh, I also see, uh, you know, you've got Playmonth, Vardy, Tagliafico, and even Icon Schmeichel on the bench that you're not using. Uh, and those cards have opportunity cost. You could potentially be using those in the Footmer Sissoko uh, SBC, and then you can replace Gabamin with Sissoko, or even at some point try and fit in uh, Sissoko for, um, for Fabinho and just change your team around a little bit and get maybe a French player over at the right cam spot. It's completely up to you. That's one of those ballpark ones where it's like, you know, personal preference, I guess. If you're really enjoying uh, Kabamin and stuff like that, then I'll obviously keep Kabamin. Um, but if you're looking possibly for a change, maybe a change in, in scenery, I guess, then Suzuko could be your man. But uh, I actually like this team, actually. This formation looks really, really cool. Um, I think the build-up play in this formation would be quite fun as well. Um, and yeah, GG on the uh, on the squad, bro. So the next one's going to be coming from Angelo. Essien and Cliver and the bench are untradeable. Damn, they're two very good untradeables to have. Uh, have 300k. I'm open for suggestions. 4 until two brackets two in game love your videos keep the good work well thank you very much bro appreciate that so um obviously the two icons are the untradeable ones everyone else is tradable i'm liking the inform ronaldo in there i like that it, you know it works well um one thing i would say about ronaldo is that i didn't think he was worth i personally paid 1.4 million for that inform uh let's actually have a look how much that inform is now um that inform is currently going for 1.2 million. So I didn't think the inform was worth 1.2 million personally. Uh, I think you could actually do quite a lot better with this squad. Um, now, the first thing you could do is replace uh, 
Matuidi with Sissoko. Any variant of Sissoko. It doesn't have to be Footmus. It could just be the tradable normal version. And then I'd also look to possibly bring in uh, Hyung Min Son. Now, he's got a few different variants um, at left mid. He's got the 88 in form, which is currently about 477k. Or he's got the 89 rated card. That's 600k. But for the plus one, pretty much on all stats, I'd actually just go with the uh, in form. I think the value uh, and the, the ability per value is probably better on the in form card. Um, so I would personally bring in in form Son over at left mid and then get uh, Sizoko as your left cam. And then obviously in game, Sizoko is playing left center mid and you've got uh, Son up top. Uh, and then I'd also look then at the right hand side because if you. Uh, you know, you, you've just, I've just clicked on the wrong tweet there. Um, you've just obviously uh, replaced a 1.2 million coin player with a 500k player and you had 300k, leaving you with about a million flat. What you could then do over on the right hand side is bring in uh, Lionel Messi. Um, now he's about a million flat, maybe just a little bit more. You will be able to afford a Messi, I think, um, and replace Dembele with Messi. So then your strike force becomes uh, Inform Son over on the left, Messi over on the right, Cliver at Cam. You could even play Messi at Cam and Cliver at top might even be better for you because Sliver I think is more of an out, uh, out and out striker then you've got Suzoko, Kante and Essien as your midfield and a pretty solid backline as well so that's personally what I'd look to do um, let me know down below if you guys agree or disagree with that uh, obviously uh, all your comments and feedback are greatly appreciated on these videos as well so if you think that you disagree with somebody's input or my input on somebody else's squad should I say uh, please let us know down below and, and try and help that person out a little bit more that would be absolutely uh, greatly appreciated so the next one's going to come from Matthew who says Tradable Roberto Carlos, PK, and Di Maria, budget 250k. It's really, really direct, okay? There's no there's no please, there's no comment, there's no there's no compliment. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. Um, okay. Ooh. Now, I am a big fan of Suzoko this year. Don't get me wrong, I am a big fan. Not the biggest fan of playing him off cam, though. What I would personally do here, I would personally swap out Suzoko for De Jong. Um, you've got 250k, so you could get a decent version of De Jong if you wanted to. I would also probably swap out Eder Militao for uh, for either Ramos or Rafael Varane. Uh, actually, personally, this year, I'm enjoying Ramos a lot recently. Uh, I used a Team of the Year nominee and enjoyed it. It's about 180k. Um, or just his normal card, I think, is just about 100k. But I was actually really enjoying when I used Ramos alongside PK. So you could replace Eder Militao for Ramos and get uh, De Jong over here for Sissoko. Then I think you've got a pretty solid squad. Now, I wouldn't change much then after that. You could potentially change your formation as well. If you get De Jong and it gets a strong link with Griezmann, then you can play the 4-3-3 brackets 3. Uh, and you'll actually have, uh, I think, Allen on full chemistry. Oh, no, you won't. Sorry, because you won't get the link to uh, the Brazilian link anymore. I ignore me. Keep it the same. De Jong, uh, Ramos. There you go. Perfect mundo. The next one's from Ashton Heslip. Uh, the team is untradeable. Uh, the team is tradable, sorry, and the bench is untradable. Have 100k. Love the vids. Keep with the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. So you have 100k. Full team is tradable. Uh, what would I do to start off with? Um, I would sell Kimmich straight away. Um, and I would bring in Malqui over on the right. Now, obviously, Footmas Malqui is no longer available. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, obviously, it would have been a great option because I actually really like Footmas Mal uh, Malqui, but I would sell Kimmich and get normal Malqui. Then on the right-hand side here, you've got the option of going with literally any uh, City uh, right mid. Uh, I I'm guessing there's a bunch to choose from. If we go over on Foot... This is the easiest... But by the way, if you guys are ever looking for uh, what to go with, Footbin is the easiest... Um, tool to use so i'm literally just going to go right mids right wings right forwards from the city uh, um and then choice wise you have a bunch of different choices you could go with quadrado bernadeschi um obviously you've already got zaniolo who i don't think has got enough pace you could go with lozano would be a decent shout as well um but here you can pretty much see all of the uh, all of the options that you could possibly go with um i'm thinking lozano might be a really good shout for you here uh, what else would I change for the squad? I would say get rid of Dybala and bring in Insigne, but that's personal preference. Obviously, that is a very uh, a very personal choice to me. And I'd also say um, sell Umtiti and bring in Longley. Uh, and I think you should have enough coins for all of those upgrades. So uh, I would personally do all of those upgrades. And I think your squad would be definitely improved. Now, the next one is coming from Robert May. Everything is tradable apart from the bench in Nesta. Got 59k for improvements and happy to sell players. Keep up the good work, bro. Uh, love the videos. Uh, play the same formation in game. Well, thank you very much for the uh, for the compliment. I appreciate that. So 59k um, and then everyone's tradable apart from the bench in Nesta. Okay. So what would I do with this squad? This is interesting. This is a nice squad as well. This is a very nice squad. I think the only thing I would actually do, and it would be an improvement in my opinion, that Diego Carlos is a good card. Don't get me wrong. I am using it. I think he'd probably be better off with <laughs> this. 
I would say personally better off with uh, with Longley. I was about to say Furl and Mendy. Actually, there is a Footmas Roussillon in uh, in objectives right now. And I think that getting that Roussillon is not that difficult. You could do it in a day. I would say get Roussillon for left back and then Longley for left centre back. Um, that Roussillon looks incredible. And I think that you really benefit from him and having him in the squad. Um, and of course, it just keeps everyone on the same chemistry as well. So it doesn't really affect anything. Um, but apart from that, that team is phenomenal. I really like that team. Not entirely sure about Pogba at camp. I mean, it's, it's working at the minute chemistry wise. Um, that could be improved possibly. Uh, I think the only way you improve that is potentially going with like a Firmino or something like that. Um, and then uh, and then swapping. Um, well, then, then again, it wouldn't get full chemistry. I guess you could potentially swap Kane and Son. Uh, but then you're trying to get uh, Kante on chemistry. Yeah, it's an interesting one actually. Um, obviously, it's working for chemistry now, so keep it. But yeah, I'd say down the line, maybe possibly swap out Pogba for someone else. The next one is coming from It's HYT. One on the left is in game. Long lay Crespo and the bench are untradeable. Have no coins after building this team, but where would you go next with the team? Okay, where would I go next with it? So uh, this is how you play in game. Um, wait, is this the same screenshot? Okay, pretty much you just swaps Zoko and Firmino. So th where I'd look at this straight away, I'd look for your weak points. And I'd say, although he's not necessarily a weak point, I would look to possibly swap out uh, Eder Militao for Sergio Ramos. I'm really enjoying Ramos, so I'm, I'm really pushing the agenda because I'm enjoying him at the minute. Um, I would then potentially look to upgrade uh, the next, I would say, weak spot, which would be possibly uh, Firmino. I would look to upgrade him to a potentially... Um, in terms of cams in the Prem, you could go with Lucas Moura and you can get like a link with Son there somehow. Um, or alternatively, you could go with an, a better version of, of Firmino, maybe his team of the nominee or his scream card. Uh, both would be decent options. But uh, And then and then you're looking for the uh, the expensive upgrade, which is next going to be like Icons or Messi or people like that. But I actually really like that squad. I think it's a very, very well-built squad. How is the 3-5-2 in game? I'd love to hear your opinion on that because I uh, haven't personally used it this year but I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, and now, if you were, if you guys are wondering why I'm skipping over uh, sort of web app and phone app screenshots, it's just because I don't feature them. Uh, it's something that I personally don't think that it looks good on the video and I want the video to be the perfect or best quality it possibly can be. Um, so that's why I don't feature them. A lot of people disagree with it, but it's, it's just my personal opinion. And as the creator, um, I'm being... Uh, very selfish. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, anyway, the next one, the next squad is from Tom. Got 350k. All centre backs, Willian, Mares, and Guardiola are on trade. We're trying to get Suzuko in the team. How would I get Suzuko in this team? Um, where are you trying to get Suzuko in the team? Is what I'd I'd like to know. I think McGinn at left mid is a definite no no. Um, I think what you could possibly do here, if you're trying to get Suzuko into the team, because I see you got foot Mr. Suzuko over here on the bench. Uh, I would say start Suzuko at striker. Yeah, I'd say start Suzuko at striker. Uh, and then what I would say is potentially, and this, see, I, I see your problem because obviously Kante and, and Guardiola are both incredible. Um, you don't really want to replace any of them. If that, do you say that Kante is tradable? So yeah, Kante is tradable. Possibly then sell Kante. That gives you like a, just over 500k to work with. Uh, and then you can start um, start Suzuka at striker, and then I think what we what we could do here is possibly get Lucas Mora to link up with the Willian to play him at left mid. That's a really cheap option, obviously, uh, and I don't like recommending a cheap option like that. But I don't see where else you can really go with that. Um, this is one that I'm struggling with, guys. Let me know down below what you guys think, um, who we should go with. Uh, if he sells Kante or if he doesn't sell Kante. Let me know how you think he should fit foot Mrs. Oko into the squad because the way I see it, I don't think McGinn's a good left mid. I don't think he's good enough there, but I obviously wouldn't play him at striker or Cam either. So it's a really difficult one here. Uh, I'm definitely struggling with it. So let me know down below what you guys think. The next one is going to be from... Uh, da, 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 da. It's going to be from It's Shadowy, who says, The bench is untradeable. Only have 10k at the minute, but willing to sell anybody. Love the vids. Where should I upgrade? Well, thank you very much for the compliment. I appreciate that. Where should you upgrade in this squad? I would say the upgraded uh, position, so you've got 10k. Um, obviously, you're not going to be making any upgrade to this squad at all right now, but you possibly could in the future. I think the weak point in this squad is Ericsson's a bit too slow for a wide cam. 
Uh, I think you could definitely improve Ericsson, maybe in Insigne, um, or if you're looking far down the line of Hingman Son, but that's going to be not for a while yet. Um, I think Firmino is a good a central cam. I think uh, Moore is a good left cam. Um, maybe potentially eventually upgrading Akanji, Schultz, and the goalkeeper to possibly like a Koulibaly, um, and then a, a left back, maybe a, a Robertson. Then in goal, getting somebody that would link with either Koulibaly or Manalas, possibly. Um, but yeah, apart from those upgrades, I think your team is well set up. Um, you know, I'd love to know how that Akanji plays. I haven't used him this year at all, so let me know. Um, and I think the the last squad for this episode is going to be from Jack, who says I've got 150k to upgrade. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know how you're going to play in game here. How on earth are you playing? Okay, so I'm guessing you play a f maybe a 4-2-3-1. Inaki Williams up top. Okay. How many coins you got? 150k. Again, I don't see a whole lot of improvement you can do with 150k here without completely changing a few plays in your squad, which I don't want to do. I want to sort of keep it the similar way you're working with it. I'd say just sort of work towards improving... Um, possibly improving Nabry over here to a better better player and then upgrading Juan Mata to a better player as well. Um, but obviously, that, they're going to be dependent on who you enjoy in the game and sort of how you enjoy playing, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually check out a couple more squads here because um, the video is only probably about 16, 17 minutes and I like to make them at least 20 minutes long. You guys seem to like the longer episodes. So I'm going to check out a few more squads. Uh, the next one's going to be coming from Shay uh, Mahoney or Ma Mani Mahoney. Mahoney, I apologize if I just butchered that. All in tradable, including bench, except Decore, Griezmann, and Stegen have around 100k. Keep up the good work, mate. I think. Thank you very much. That's that's so blurry. That is so blurry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shay, mate. That's just the the quality is really really bad. Um. Okay. The next one's from Justin, who has been supporting the channel for a very long time. I really appreciate you, Justin. So thank you very much for the support, bro. I really appreciate it. So I said, I think you've listened to my team very nicely with the team. You're doing great work. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much. And he's obviously talking about Foot Mr. Zoko. Um, I think he just wants to show me his team um, as opposed to actually wanting improvements because uh, this team is a very, very nice team. Um, and yeah, he, f he fits perfectly into your squad, mate. So GG on that. Uh, then we've got Arsenal Until Death, who says Neymar, Dembele, Varane, uh, Torrent, who I think he means... Uh, um, oh my god, I don't even know what his name is right now. The the Uruguayan from from Arsenal, uh, Torreira. Sorry, brain fart. Uh, whole bench are untradeable. 50k for upgrades. Love your videos. Keep uh, congrats on 100k followers. Well, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Um, again, it's a really why are they all so blurry? Uh, the screenshots are really really blurry here. I find it difficult to see them. Um, Neymar, Dembele, Varane, Torreira, and the whole bench are untradeable. What would I do with this? 50k to improve. I would say your improvements over here could be, um, I would possibly, oh, this is difficult. This is difficult because obviously you're using Marcelo to get chemistry to your left, uh, left center back. Uh, I would personally look to upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, this is a difficult one. This is a difficult one. Because the plays you've got are keeping everyone else on chemistry. And unless you want to get rid of some of the players, obviously you want to keep the chemistry. And I don't want to tell you to improve, for example, your one of your centre-backs and then say, oh, then you've got to get another player here and then you've got to get this player off chemistry. I don't want to do that. That's why I find it difficult. I think maybe just work on upgrading your plays and your squad to their better versions right now um, until you've got enough coins to potentially upgrade like um, Aubameyang and, uh, and Terreira to other versions of players, I guess. Um, eventually you want to upgrade Terreira to Kante and then Aubameyang to maybe, um, I don't know, maybe a good version of Aguero. Um, okay, the next one's coming from Kyle who says, everything is untradeable and 1 million coins in use. Raul to get via full cam. Okay, so I'm guessing you sub off Raul then. Um, well, this is interesting. I don't know. I need to like piece together how you play this in game. So I'm guessing you play, I'm guessing you start maybe a 4-5-1 and then Raul, Raul, and okay, so Raul and Paulinho is your two cams. Uh, Allen up top, Di Maria is your left mid, uh, Hulk is your right mid, and then and then David Vieira at centre mid. What to do to improve this team? How many coins do you say you had? Um, a million coins. I would say with a million coins, the best improvement you could possibly make to this squad. 
is getting Neymar at left at left cam as opposed to Di Maria. That is the best improvement you can make. I love Neymar. He's unreal. Absolutely unreal. So worth it. Definitely massively worth it. Uh, and then I'm going to call the last one here at Wesley Squad. He plays a 4-2-3-1 in game. Got 500k left for changes, but I really want Prime Zanetti as my right back. Untradables are Gattuso, Semedo and Mertens. I have done De Gea for his card. Do you think he's better than Tostegan? Uh Or should I stay with Tostegan playing? I'd love to hear your, uh, some of your advice. Well, thank you very much for the, for, for the support, Wesley. Uh, always in the live streams. Really appreciate you. Um, and your team is phenomenal. <laughs> your team is absolutely nuts. So you've got 500k for upgrades and you want to use Prime Zanetti at right back. What would I do with this team? I would say upgrade Nesta to, and this is an upgrade in my opinion. I'd say upgrade Nesta to Team of the Year nominee Ramos. I'd then say upgrade Alex Tellers to Inform Alex Tellers. I would then say potentially getting rid of Gattuso and going with, um, hmm, is Gattuso untradeable? Let me just double check that. Until it was our Gattuso. Okay. Um, I would say start saving your coins now. Uh, and I would work towards upgrading Gattuso to a, an 87 Essien. I think that would probably be a, a good shout. Uh, in terms of Tostegan over De Gea, I would keep Tostegan. Tostegan's way better. I've just noticed as well, you do have a Screen PK on the bench. You could upgrade Nesta to Screen PK. I would actually work on that instead. Uh, I would upgrade uh, Nesta to Screen PK. I would then uh, look to upgrade Gattuso to maybe an 87, uh, 87 Essien. Um, or if you're really looking long-term, a baby Vieira or someone like that, really. Uh, but this team is phenomenal, Wesley. Uh, thank you very much for the support as well on the channel. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to call it there for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I plan on doing a very long episode over Christmas with a couple special guests, hopefully. Um, we have one guaranteed special guest, and uh, I'm hoping that the others get back to me. If not, then it might just be myself on my own for a little while, and then uh, one special guest uh, either at the start or the end of the episode. So thank you all for your epic support on the channel. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. If you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, I would greatly appreciate it as well. If you can't tell, I'm incredibly tired today. I don't know why. I'm just maybe it's iron deficiency or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just I'm just a bit a bit tired today. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.